This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Arrhenius equation. Here we have the Arrhenius equation, which can be found in section one of the data booklet. The equation is K is equal to A multiplied by E raised to the power of negative EA over RT. K is the rate constant. A is the Arrhenius constant, which is also known as the frequency factor or pre-exponential factor. E raised to the power of negative EA over RT is the fraction of collisions that have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. In other words, it's the fraction of collisions with sufficient energy to react. So next we look at the units. The units of K depend on the reaction. The units of A are the same as the rate constant K. The units for the activation energy are joules per mole. The gas constant has the units joules per kelvin per mole, and the unit for temperature is kelvin. Next we look in more detail at the Arrhenius constant. The Arrhenius constant takes into account the frequency of collisions with the correct orientation for the reaction to occur. The Arrhenius constant is a product of Z multiplied by P, where Z is the collision frequency and P is the steric factor. The steric factor can be thought of as a ratio of the collisions with the correct orientation to all possible collisions. So here we have an example. Here we have the reaction between nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen trioxide to form nitrogen dioxide. The steric factor for this reaction is 0.006. This means that only 6 out of every 1000 collisions have the correct orientation for a reaction to occur. Next we look at the effect of temperature on the fraction of collisions with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy for the reaction, which we will refer to as F. Here we can see that F is equal to E raised to the power of negative EA over RT. In this table we have the value of F at three different temperatures. For each of these temperatures the activation energy is assumed to be 50,000 joules per mole. So as we can see from the table, as temperature increases, so does the value of F. So this tells us that as the temperature increases, the fraction of collisions with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy also increases. This in turn would cause an increase in the value of the rate constant K and a faster rate of reaction. So to summarize, as the temperature increases, the rate of reaction also increases. Next, we'll look at the effect of increasing the activation energy on the value of F. Note that for each value of activation energy, the temperature remains constant. So as we can see, as the activation energy increases, the value of F decreases. In other words, as the activation energy increases, the fraction of collisions with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy decreases. This results in a lower value for the rate constant K and a slower rate of reaction. So to summarize, as the activation energy increases, the rate of reaction decreases. Let's end the video with a summary. The Arrhenius equation allows us to see the effect of temperature and activation energy on the value of the rate constant K. As we saw in the previous slides, higher temperatures and lower activation energies result in a higher value of the rate constant K and an increased rate of reaction. And lower temperatures and higher activation energies result in a lower value of the rate constant K and a decreased rate of reaction.